4th August 2021. Today I'm back here again in Piccadilly Circus, Central London, for the um, Face of Cast Flow 101. It will be my third time like coming here to play Castle Cast Flow 101. It's a game designed by Robert T. Kiyosaki to increase our financial intelligence. And uh, let's see how it goes. Um, I think in the app, the Meetup app, there are like more than six people on one table, so we have to book another table. So there will be like two tables in total, so I think if there will be like more than 10 people today. And let's see whether I will be able to come out of the rat race. Let's see. Go, go. Is it recording, Nick? Not yet started. Yeah. Go for Not it. Bad, yeah. Yeah. Start recording. Yeah. Okay, so I'm now just going to do a clap so that I can synchronize the sound with the video and all the videos can be synchronized. Good? Alright. Okay, so what we're going to talk about is what is it that's holding you back from getting over the first huge wall which gives you the ability to get ahead much faster. So there's a wall, so if you're in a job, to get out of that job and to fire your boss, to take advantage of no longer working, having to work in a full-time job, you have a whole bunch of advantages. What are those advantages? Can anybody think about what advantages it is to not have a job? You've got more time. Is that a better time or worse time than being in a job? Depends on how you use it, okay? So, which is better at time? Time working in the morning from 9 until, f 9 until 2 o'clock in the afternoon or working really early in the morning and late at night? Depends on the person, isn't it? It does. Freedom. Yeah. So, freedom to choose. Well, it depends on where, what, what, um, what works best for them. Some people work better in the morning, other people work better later in the day. But I'd say probably most people work better in the early afternoon. Right? In the early morning. You've got more energy. Okay? Uh, what, what else? So if the time is more effective, um, what, what else is an advantage to no longer having a job? You're not beholden to anybody. Say? You're not beholden to anybody. Your choices. Right. So instead of being beholden to one employer, and if you create a self-employment, you've now got multiple customers or employers. So you're no longer beholden to one employer, you can take all your income away. You now have many employers who, chances are you're not going to lose all your clients in one go. You might make a mess up and you lose one employer, but that's not going to affect your income too much. So you've got security of income. Now, there's a bunch of these advantages to being self-employed. Uh, and those are just two of them. Okay? The, the, the idea of being self-employed has some really big advantages compared to being employed. Another one is your income ceiling is determined by you. What you choose to do and how much work you decide to do. So if you choose to sell lemonade from a lemonade stand, you have a certain income ceiling by the number of people that walk past where you put your lemonade stand. But if you choose to do rent to rent, you're now limited by how, many, how much cash you have in your pocket, how many deals you can find, and how many people you can find to give you money or to loan you money to do more deals. Okay, so it's just effort to find more money. So there's another advantage to being self-employed. You can determine what your income ceiling is. And if you start with a certain income ceiling, as time moves forward, you can learn how to increase that. All right? So there's some massive advantages to firing your boss. Now what we're going to talk about today is what are the things that hold you back from being able to fire your boss. Um, What's the first point on the list? What is this wall? So what is this wall? Okay. The wall, um, there are three walls. There's a wall to uh, being able to fire your boss. There's a wall to starting your passive income 
uh, cycle or your snowball rolling down the hill and as the snowball rolls down so the income extra income created increases so the sooner you can start that snowball rolling uh, the more potential income you have as time moves forward same thing uh, below the, uh, before you quit your job um, there's another wall in when you are uh, trying to create your financial freedom journey your financial freedom life so you've got self-employment making your money you've got passive income making your money and now you need to build your financial freedom life with the, all this extra money and there's stuff that holds people back from doing that also so the first wall is what holds the people back from being able to fire their boss um, any ideas on what those things are? Fear. 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 Fear of? Failure. Well, you've always been told to work for someone and to work hard and then all of a sudden you don't Fear of no longer working hard? Fear of no longer having like a framework. Like, if you go to your job every day and you know from like 9 to 5, I have to do this. And then if you then quit, it's like, you then have 24 hours to do whatever you want, that's also quite scary. Okay. Because like where... What I say that like diversification is not there for ourselves, isn't it? If we are in a one sector doing one particular job yeah. and we don't have a skill to move in another sector and do some another kind of a job. Yeah? So scared of do fear of doing something new. Lack of yeah, lack of um, a diversification if I, if you see what I'm trying to say. Okay. For example, I'm an engineer, yeah. Do a particular type of a job. So I'm not able to diversify my earning from other kind of a jobs because my skills are so much tightly ingrained. But you, you might you might have lots of you might have lots of transferable skills. It's yeah, and that's the idea. Looked at it. Uh, you do something which complements your knowledge, your skills, and your resources that you have. But then again, stuck up in that office job, yeah. You got me. Uh, so nine to five office job again. For example. I can move from oil and gas to railway, or from railways to airport as a design engineer for a particular IT system, yeah. But then I'm working at once at a time for a one particular em employer, if you got me. Sure. And can you keep your sh your question short? Yeah. So for me, that diversification, diverse portfolio means I don't have a diverse portfolio to market myself. Sure. And, and Maybe that's your situation. Yeah. Maybe somebody can help you to see that where you can diversify. Yeah. yeah. What's the next point? So, what is slowing you down even worse than stopping you getting getting ahead? Okay. So, what's slowing you down to get ahead? Similar to the last the question that I asked. The next point. The principle of buying yourself ahead. Again? The principle of buying yourself ahead. Okay, so to get uh, passive income, you need to buy something or own it or control it. So you buy a house, it gives you passive income each month. Uh, you buy a building, it gives you passive income each month. You buy oil or gas or something like that, a renewable resource, it gives you a passive income each month. You either buy it or you control it in order to receive that passive income. Okay, there is no other way that I'm aware of to, at this date that you can get passive income. You have to buy it. Uh, royalties. Say again. Royalties. Royalties. You have to own it to get the, those royalties. So you can create passive income. You need to own it to to create it. So you create it and you own it. Okay. So. Uh, you have to own the thing in order to get the right to receive those royalties okay um, so that principle of buying you have to do it there's no getting around it now the question how can you utilize that same principle of, as of buying in order to help yourself to get ahead faster so what can you do you can go and get Say for instance you're an engineer, you can find somebody who's an engineer that has created self-employment and you can pay him to help you to see 
what those other opportunities are. Because you just can't think of anything that will allow you to create some kind of extra income on the side. Um, and by paying somebody to do that, it costs you a little bit of money, but it's now saved you weeks, months of thinking and trying to work something out for yourself because they've already been through that thinking. Next point. So, what makes this wall so huge? Okay, so what makes this wall so huge for an individual who is trying to achieve financial freedom? System. System? Yeah, you need to build a system in order to make, to make things happen. A business is a system of things working together, or a self-employment business, is a system of things working together that makes you extra money every month. And so you need to identify what are those components of that system. So, for instance, uh, one of my mentees, he was a, uh, a manager of a restaurant. I've mentioned this person before uh, because he was manager of a restaurant. He was fully aware of the system, of all, many of the components that were running together that he needed to make happen. And so for him to recreate those was quite easy for him. He just had never thought about it from doing it for himself from his own perspective. Um, next point. How to overcome the wall. Okay, so how do we overcome this wall? This comes back to the second question. Uh, what is it that is holding us back from uh, overcoming this wall? We, we spoke about fear. Uh, one way to get over the fear is to find somebody else who's done it already or is doing the thing that you want to do that allows you to then go and do it while referring to them so that they can help you to get over that level of fear. So instead of doing it by yourself, you're doing it with somebody. Preferably somebody who's been there and done it. Okay? What other things can it, what other things uh, are stopping us from getting ahead? How about money? Having extra money. If you had if I put a million pounds in your pocket today, would you be able to make more money with that million pounds? Hopefully. Can anybody think of what they would do with a million pounds to make money? Yeah. Crypto. Crypto? <laughs> Sorry? Big deal cards. Big deal cards. Okay, so going and buying apartment houses, uh, going and buying big houses. Um, you can look, take that million pounds, find somebody who's a guru somebody who's really far ahead offer to pay them a commission on whatever deals they pass your way you tell them you got a million pounds i'm going to spend this million pounds and i need to earn this amount every month and they go and find those deals and they help help you to close it and every deal that they make so for every x amount of cash flow that is generated every month they get x percent of that in their pocket as a lump sum bang so they create you a thousand pounds income, you pay them 20 grand or 30 grand. They've made a quick 30 grand of passing a deal across to you, which they would have only made 15 grand off. Imagine if you were making an extra 15 grand just by paying somebody an extra, money, an extra amount of money that you have in your pocket. Okay? So you can buy the deals that other people have. Um, what else? What other things are holding us back from getting ahead or achieving financial freedom? One more thing. Identity. Say? Identity. It's like you see yourself as a particular kind of person. Yeah. And your 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 friends are a particular kind of people. Um, you spend that much time every day being that particular person. So so much of your identity is confused with what you do from nine to five is your job, that's yeah. who you are. So I'm an engineer and I'm a ex. And then to lose that, it's got pluses, but it's also... It's a huge thing to do. Yeah, it's a huge, huge, huge deal to, to so, lose. And especially if it's not, you're going towards something you're not, you don't know what it is. Yeah. Because yeah, you've not met the other people that do it. Okay, so 
your ident- most people's identities are wrapped up in the job that they're doing. I'm an engineer. I have worked. I've studied for X amount of time. I earned this. To suddenly let that go, to say seven to ten years worth of effort to get to where you are today, is a really big thing to give up. Your identity is in that. You're earning a certain amount. It's nice. You're comfortable. You just keep working for the rest of your life and you've got that money coming in, you'll save some of it, you can retire. But then to change into something else is a really, really big thing. Now today you played cash flow and you're working, hopefully you recognize, and I think I saw you guys recognizing, that working as a team rather than working against each other had a massive advantage. You're sharing deals, you're using each other's cash flow, you're using, you're uh, suggesting that you work in a certain way. This is called masterminding. So if you're in a situation where you, where you are struggling to break the mold of where you're at, what if you team up with one other person or two other people or five other people, you work out what you can do together and then what you do is you, instead of creating one company, you create five companies and then you just share thank you very much and then you share the deals out and you all play a different role and so as one person gets ahead uh, he pulls the other people along with him and you can create rules in your mastermind that if somebody's being left behind for some reason maybe they're not putting as much work in Maybe they can't see how to do things properly. You have a rule where you say we can, as a group, we can, we agree that we'll find somebody to replace them that is more effective than all of us. So then that new person that comes in replaces them and then the whole group moves ahead. And whoever falls out then forms another group, another mastermind, and he's now leading them because he's got all that experience So the principle of masterminding is a really clever way to stay motivated, to stay focused, to be able to specialize in a particular area. So there's really, there are ways to overcome the wall which stops a person from getting to the place which allows them to say, right, I've got enough extra money coming in to pay for all my bills, now I can fire my boss. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? Should we stop the recording? Okay, so I'm just coming out from the watery stone after playing Casper 101. We played for like three hours. Today um, there were like 10 people. Uh, last time when I came here, there were only like five or six people. So today, for the third time when I came here, today there are like 10 people. So we had like two different tables. And again, this time also, I didn't manage to come out from the rat race. Um, I don't. I would say I did slightly better than the last time, but not good enough to come out from the um, the rat race because the objective is that to have a passive in- income, like passive income, greater than your greater than your expense. So my expense was still higher than the um, thingy from the than the or see that Lamborghini um, my expense was still higher than the um, passive income um, see I was uh, and the funny thing is that there were like two guys one, 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 one guy and a girl so they were like saying that they, they, they were just playing for the so let me run quick one yeah. so they were saying they haven't like played the castle 101 like ever but somehow they managed to come out from the rat race and uh, when I asked them, they were saying, they just got lucky, they just got the good deal. So maybe it's, a, it's, a, it's about luck as well, because those guys, they got lucky and they managed to come out from the right race. Um, I would say the golden nugget I got from here, you know, because always after finishing the game, they always, you know, they, they always, they just, Jonathan is the leader. So he always shares the, you know, like his experience to us and how he managed to be financially free. So one thing he was focusing was that 
we must so there are like three different walls we have overcome the over, overcome the you know like the wall and he was saying we have to create a system so that every time even when you are like sleeping or when, when you are not focusing you can you know like the money is generating for you so money is working themselves for you so the system is important we must create a system and he was saying like if you if we start a lemonade lemonade company or lemonade was stand so the end is a ceiling so there's a you will make less income so like less well basically the ceiling is low but he was saying the way to find so free is to have a you know what do you call it you have to be safe employed and that's the only way and you can have like multiple clients and multiple employers what I'm saying yeah you can have more more clients and more people so you are you can have and help yourself to be a financially you know free and so today I don't know the game is still there but I would say my weakness in the real life is that I don't have excellent energy and I'm always fear that what will happen if I fail so that's the main concern for me uh, yeah, so again yeah tomorrow I have to go back to work again you know like from 8 to 5 30 in ADS Auto Croydon as a car mechanic yeah so that's my life at the moment so we have I have to find a way now because what I want to do is I want to do like some online you know like a business and I spent like two years doing research I bought the market intelligent you know like the subscription for like three years didn't manage to get anything oh look at that hard broke yeah she so didn't manage to get anything out of it so I have to increase my action energy and I have to find a way to be financial secure okay so far at the moment I'm focusing on on the on the guy called Russell Brunson he's the he's the king of the you know he's the king of the funnel oh uh, yeah so I'm reading his book called um, expert secret so here are like three books so I have completed the first one and I have to go through the second like two more yeah so my plan is to do something online okay so that's it for today and it was a good game GG stay strong Annyeong James it's me Joges Nanan Piccadilly Circus is Soya. Yeah, so today I'm here in the Piccadilly Circus for some business seminar. And next time when you come here in London, I promise you that I'm gonna treat you well. And have a nice trip and stay in touch. Fighting.